there's a new feature now available for iPhone and Macs that will actually let you use your iPhone as a webcam wirelessly with your Mac with no third-party software required. All you need to do is update to iOS 16 or later on your iPhone and macOS Ventura on your Mac. On your iPhone, open the Settings app, scroll down to General, and then Software Update. Make sure you're running at least iOS 16 or later. Check for the update on your Mac by clicking the Apple icon in the upper left corner, and then System Preferences. From here, go to Software Update, and here you can update to macOS Ventura. If you click the Apple icon and see System Settings instead of System Preferences, you're already on macOS Ventura. But you can double check by clicking General, and then going to Software Update, here you can make sure you're running macOS Ventura 13.0 or newer. Once all your devices are set up, all you need to do is go to an application where you would normally access a webcam and your iPhone will be available to choose as a camera. For instance, if I open QuickTime Player and go to File, New Movie Recording, you'll actually see that my iPhone 14 Pro camera is available to use as a webcam. And now my iPhone video is streaming to my Mac as a webcam. While it's streaming, you'll get this message on your iPhone letting you know it's being used as a webcam right now. As soon as you close whatever application is using your iPhone as a webcam, your iPhone will return to normal. You can even get adapters now on Amazon or directly from Apple made by Belkin. This is a Belkin adapter. It's MagSafe. So if you have an iPhone 12 or newer, it will actually stick to the back of your iPhone and then has a little hook where you can mount this to your laptop lid or monitor so your iPhone is in the perfect position to be used as a webcam. Here you can see I've mounted my iPhone on my laptop lid using Belkin's adapter. And here I can actually log into the Riverside Studio and on this screen where I can choose my microphone and camera, I can actually select my iPhone camera right here inside Riverside. There's no wires connecting my iPhone or my Mac. This happens completely wirelessly. All you need to do is make sure you're updated to iOS 16 on your iPhone, macOS Ventura on your Mac or newer, and that both devices are signed into the same iCloud account. To make sure you're on the same iCloud account on your Mac, click the Apple icon and go to System Settings, and then click your Apple ID here in the top left corner. If you've disconnected from Continuity Camera and you don't see it reappear, go to the settings on your iPhone, go down to General, go to AirPlay and Handoff, toggle Continuity Camera off, and then back on again. And as you can see here in the right-hand column, my iPhone 14 Pro camera is being used as my video input. And after hitting Record, you can see my iPhone 14 Pro camera is being used right inside Riverside. I've started a recording, and this is actually the video recorded inside Riverside directly from my iPhone 14 Pro camera with continuity camera. No cables, no third-party applications, just an iPhone running iOS 16 or newer and a Mac running macOS Ventura or newer. If you have any questions about continuity camera or using Riverside on your Mac or iPhone, leave a comment below this video. I'd love to answer you there. Also, subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video. We have lots of content on even connecting USB microphones to your iPhone when you're traveling or in the field, how to use lapel mics, and even hybrid recording with both in-person and remote guests. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.